What is up guys, this is TCG Sam here and in today's video I'm coming at you guys with a updated combo tutorial slash test hand video for uh, the virtual deck profile that I recently uploaded that's very budget friendly I might add. Um, but before we begin, I just want to let you guys know, if you haven't heard, noticed already, I've got some sick custom sleeves here. Uh, with my own design on them so if you guys are interested in getting your own custom sleeves or playmat then be sure to check out your playmat using my affiliate link in the description below your playmat allows you to create your own fully customized card sleeves playmats tabletop mats or even mouse pads with shipping worldwide in addition you can further enhance the designs of your sleeves or playmats with their premium editing services or customize the border of your sleeves making it all the more special but if you can't come up with your own design, there are a myriad of professionally made sleeve and playmat designs for you to choose from. If all this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to use my affiliate link in the description below or use code SAM10YP, that's S-A-M-1-0-Y-P at checkout for 10% your entire order while helping to support my channel. But anyways, back to the video now. All right, so getting back into the video, I'm gonna be finishing shuffling up and we're gonna do a couple of test hands. The, I usually like to go over two going first ones and one going second one. So let's finish shuffling up and let's see what we can do with this hand that we've been given. So one final cut and we'll draw our first five cards, which is Lili, Nian, Kowloon, Qinglong, and Gigi. So while this is a really, really good going first hand, uh, because we draw, drew a lot of virtual names, it's pretty bad going second because we weren't able to draw any of the 12 like going second cards we play. But no matter, going first, um, this is a very, very powerful hand, obviously. So what we want to do is we can start off with a card like Kowloon. Kowloon will allow us to uh, activate a copy of Chuchi from directly from our deck. And then from here, we want to activate our copy of... Of Lili targeting the Chuchi. Uh, that's going to allow us to send a copy of our Nian and a Qinglong to our graveyard, which is obviously really good uh, because it allows us to search for our Lulu, which is very, very important here. Uh, we're going to, we can, we can go uh, Qinglong here, add a copy of Lulu because Lulu is our, pretty much our best card. And the important part of here is you kind of want to make sure you keep the Qinglong because I'm going to be trying to go into a card like Crystal Wing here uh, and we need uh, we need to set a card for Zulkin. So for that reason, I'm going to be discarding the Nian. So now we have double Nian in our graveyard, which is okay. It, it's not really that big of an issue. We can use our Lulu targeting our uh, targeting our Chuchi next. Sending a copy of a Qinglong for a follow-up and then adding a copy of Lao Lao. Uh, to our hand which is really really good and then from here uh we're just gonna burn through all the names uh we can use gg targeting lulu we'll send a copy of chuchi so that's kind of our last uh it's kind of our last um quote unquote like virtual wood card that we want to send the reason i'm not using nian here is because we are trying to play around nibiru so this is three summons four summons is going to be our uh our coral dragon and then even though ultimize zulkin's on the fifth summon that's not it's not too bad because it allows us to at least get a draw off a Coral Dragon, plus still have a play with Lao Lao. So even if we uh, lose out to Nibiru here with uh, Ultimate Zulkin, uh, speaking of which, uh, Coral Dragon is going to draw us a card. Kowloon, not great, but we we can work with it. Um, we, like I said, even if we lose out on Nibiru here, we at least are still able to have a Lao Lao to go into a pretty, pretty powerful play uh, next. So next, I'm going to be setting a copy of uh, our Qinglong. Activating Zulkin effect, Zulkin's gonna allow us to summon out Crystal Wing, and now we're kind of protected from any hand traps. I'm actually gonna activate Qinglong here and then use Lala targeting Qinglong. And the reason for that is because I want to send Jean Wu to my graveyard. Jean Wu's gonna be that extra extender that allows us to put one more body onto the board. So one la once Lala is summoned, we want to summon back our level three uh, Gigi, which is then gonna trigger our uh, one of our Nians to summon herself back. And then from here, there oh. Crystal Wing. There are a myriad of plays we can make. We can make a level 9 Synchro and then make a lo another level 9 Synchro by uh, bringing back the the Lili. We definitely want to go for Shen Shen this turn. We can also go for a Muddy Mud Dragon play, which is really, really sick. And let me show you guys uh, what I mean by that. So, like, you can turn uh, the Nian in the GG into a copy of uh, the Muddy Mud Dragon. Uh, you don't have to play this package. I'm just showing you some, like, one of the quote unquote, like, strongest boards this budget build can put up, even though it does, like, obviously take a really good hand, like we had there. But I still want to show you guys what I can do. And then from here, we want to activate uh, Jean Wu. 
bringing back Gigi, uh, obviously discarding Kowloon. Uh, and then we're going to uh, activate the Muddy Mud Dragon and the Zulkin. Uh, activate the Muddy Mud Dragon, fusing away the Zul that and the Zulkin. Summoning out our Caliga, and then finally synchroing for a copy of our Shenzhen. So this is going to end us on a very, very, very strong board with Shenzhen, Caliga, Crystal Wing, Chuchi. And then Qinglong can turn off Caliga on our turn uh, once we, once, if we want to make a play. And then during the end phase, of course, we get to add back either Lala or, uh, or Lulu to our hand because we use GG. So this is a really, really powerful turn. Uh, we have a Monster Negate. We have, essentially, your opponent can't quote-unquote use Monster Effects because once they use their first one and it's negated, they can't do anything about it. And once they declare their very first attack, Chuchi just pops the monster that would attack over it. And then during the next turn, you can Qinglong negate this and then just go off from there. And you should just be able to win from there. So this is a very, very powerful play that gives you not only gives you follow up, uh, but it also gives you like this insane board that is like pretty difficult for anyone to break if they don't have like Dark Ruler or whatever. But yeah, that's going to do it for the first hand. Uh, we did open very, very well. Uh, we opened a lot of virtual names, um, but let's see what happens. Hopefully, if we just open a few virtual names with like other cards, let's see what kind of board we can end on. Because this deck is kind of a hybrid of uh, control and combo. You, do, you don't always want to be making boards like this because obviously they take a lot of resources and you have to open a really good hand. Sometimes, like, people underestimate Chen Chen plus Chu Chi. If you think about it, like, Chen Chen uh, can shut out some decks completely. And, like, Chu Chi is already a pretty... It's like a zo having a Zodiac Dryden on your board, which is just super, super powerful. But, yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to finish shuffling up. And we're going to be going into our second test hand where we are going to be going first once again. So, let's see what we can open this time. Chuchi, Droll, Ash, uh, Qinglong, and Desires. So everything is on writing on this Desires. Uh, we can start with Desires, uh, activating it, banishing 10, drawing 2. So drawing GG and uh, Droll. So this is not good. I would just say this is not good. Uh, but we can still do something with this hand. It's going to be really weird, but we can still do something. In our banish, you can see we banish double Lao Lao and a Jean Wu, which is not the end of the world because Jean Wu probably won't come up this hand. But yeah, anyways, from here, uh, what we can do, we can activate Qinglong, and all we can do is use GG target Qinglong. And like, yes, um, a lot of the times you can just send Lulu and then pass here um, because we have Ash and Droll, which should keep us safe enough for a turn, and then end phase at back Lulu for a play for next turn. But I'm just gonna show you like what we can do. Try to, when we co quote unquote combo off as much as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna be sending Nian to the graveyard. We obviously we can't trigger Nian. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. But what we can do is actually normal summon Ash because we, it is a level three monster and we haven't normal summoned yet. That's gonna trigger the Nian, bring yourself back onto the field, and then we can turn the Nian, uh, sorry, the GG and the Nian into a copy of Star's Charge Warrior. Um, and then that's going to allow us to draw a card. So that can potentially draw us into any of our virtual world monsters. But not only that, I'm also setting up uh, Chuchi as well. Because I can always just banish GG uh, from my graveyard to negate something. Uh, so in this case, even if we don't draw anything, we're still uh, in a fine spot. But we do draw Kieran. And that is really, really good because it allows us to keep going. But let's just say we didn't draw Kieran. Uh, let's say we drew uh, a complete blank. If we drew a complete blank, what you can do here is activate Ch you can just like activate Qinglong. Oh, oh sorry also when Ni and Nian is banished very important you never want to forget this effect shuffle back one of your banished cards uh, into your deck because it's recycling effect is super important but here anyways what I, like I was saying Qinglong can banish the GG negating the charge warrior uh just to get a second banished virtual world for our Chuchi and then now we have Shenzhen Chuchi plus a troll so like even then it's not even that bad considering how bad our hand was like if we drew Kieran obviously we can just regularly come from there i'm not going to show up because like i'm just showing like how even a bad quote-unquote bad hand can turn into something pretty workable uh we have a chuchi plus a plus a shenchen plus a troll and that's pretty good again it's pretty good against most decks <laughs> uh but yeah that's gonna do it for uh the second test hand that was a quick one but i just want to show what you can do uh when you're when you quote-unquote brick so moving on to the third test hand, this is going to be a hypothetical going second one. We're going to see what we can do uh, to break any boards. Uh, it's obviously, like I always mentioned, these going second hands are purely hypothetical. Uh, we can never know what our opponent has. And I'm not going to say what our opponent has. I'm just going to hypothetically just show uh, what you can use to break uh, different parts of their board. All right, so finishing up the final cut, uh, we're going to move on to the final test hand. And our opening hand is going to be Jean Wu, uh, Gamma, GG, Droll, and Chuchi. So let's say we Droll and Gamma them uh, be because um, these two cards probably auto win and like will end most 
combo decks this turn, uh, to my knowledge. So let's say we do that and they completely pass. Um, I'm gonna just preface that if we don't draw a virtual world name or something, we're actually gonna have to just pass as well. So hopefully we can draw something um, and that uh, will allow us to actually play. Uh, we draw Kowloon, which works. Uh, it's actually pretty, pretty decent in this spot. Uh, we just activate Kowloon, uh, activate our Choo Choo from our deck, uh, use GG targeting Chu Chi. We want, we have to send Ching Long here, uh, and then Ching Long effect in our graveyard, banishing it, searching out a Lulu, and then from here, I'm gonna discard the Jean Wu because we can always use Jean Wu to discard Chu Chi to get into the graveyard later. Uh, but here, Lulu is very important that we actually uh, get another monster to our hand. So I'm gonna be targeting Chu Chi, sending another uh, Ching Long for follow up, and then searching for a. We can either search for a copy of Lao Lao or Kirin. We probably want Lao Lao. Uh, to be honest, uh, because from from here, uh, Lao Lao is going to give us essentially another free synchro, which is really important. Uh, so I'm going to be adding Lao Lao. And then from here, what we can do, uh, starting off, let's just say we can turn these into any level any level 6 that we want. Uh, we can just turn to a Charge Warrior, just to give us a little more resources. But Charge Warrior is also good because it kind of bridges the gap in between the different levels. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that later. Uh, but Charge Warrior, draw a card, draw Nian. That's definitely not bad. That's a normal summon that we still we still have not normal summon, so that's really really good. Um, from here, we can we can just uh, use we can either use John Wu to bring back a Lulu as a tuner. Uh, we can normal summon our Nian and then do that. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is I am probably going to try to go for a Christian Cory and Gondrax this turn just to out uh, three monsters from our opponent's field. Let's just say because assuming like. Um, like our driver, or sorry, our Gamma and our Droll, like completely shut down our opponent's turn. We can get rid of every single um, last resource that they have while setting up like a Choo Choo or whatever. So we should be putting ourselves in a position to win after that. So I'm actually just going to start um, with a copy of uh, Jean Wu. Jean Wu is going to summon back our Lulu and discard Choo Choo. And I'm going to normal summon our Nian. And then from here, I can turn these two into a copy of a uh, Coral Dragon. Uh, the Coral Dragon not only gets us to draw when it dies, but it also allows us to, uh, it also allows us to make a Zulkin should we so choose. Or from here, I can just go into Lao Lao and then use like the tuner and non-tuner, uh, if that makes any sense. So like, I'm gonna, I'm also gonna show uh, what we can do with Cory and Gondrax here. Uh, we can, we can go uh, Lao Lao targeting, uh, targeting our Choo Choo. Uh, here we can just send anything that we want. Uh, I guess I'm gonna send another Nian just for next uh, for next turn if it does come up. I'm gonna summon itself out, bring out GG. Nian effect summons itself out since we summoned a level three. And then now I'm gonna show you how powerful Cory and Gondrak is, cause like uh, Chuchi is gonna lower uh, Lao Lao. I'm gonna synchro all of these for level nine for our Christian Cory and Gondrax. This is probably one of your best going second cards in this deck. So Cory and Gondrax allows us um, when a synchro summon, you can banish up three monsters on on the field and or um, and or like the graveyards. Before we do that, obviously you want to use Nian effect, uh, shuffle back the Chuchi, very important. Uh, but yeah, we're, let's just say we banish like they're only like monster on the field. We banish all the stuff in the graveyard. Like you can see here, this alone is almost game like by itself because this is a uh, 54, 7400 damage. Uh, but even if we don't kill them, that's completely fine. Uh, because not only do we have very very powerful follow-up, but like also we can turn these like okay Let's say we attack with this uh, 7400 main phase 2 we can either overlay these two for a copy of um, Fan fan like if we need to out something else we can go into Ptolemy M7 Ptolemy M7 uh, Why this is super good is even though we don't get the draw from Coral Dragon. It's fine We can detach uh, a material add back our draw and Lockbird which is super powerful because our opponent's not going to be able to actually uh, not going to be able to play again if we draw them next turn. And then during the end phase, you get to add back a resource off of the GG as well. Not only that, we have a Qinglong in our graveyard for next turn, so that's another free monsters because like obviously our draw, we can just discard whatever we draw for turn. Uh, we can uh, we can then uh, use the Qinglong, obviously search whatever uh, monster we need. We still have a Nian in our graveyard to make further plays next turn. Plus we have a Choo Choo on our opponent's turn. And this is after we took away like all their resources turn on with Gamma and Droll. That should completely shut them off. Uh, Cory and Gondrax takes out all their resources in their graveyard. So against like Drytrons, we take out the resources. And plus M7 added back Droll. So we have Droll plus Choo Choo. And a card that actually floats. So like when the Cory and Gondrax dies, we can summon back any banished monster uh, that we want. Just to act as kind of a... A chump blocker if we really need to but yeah anyways um 
even though we weren't able to kill them. I'm, I'm sure there was a way to kill them that turn. I just uh, didn't really... I just wanted to show something flashy like uh, what I did here. But I just wanted to highlight that M7 is very good in that it's able to add back any monster from your graveyard, meaning hand traps as well. Uh, so you can add back Droll to your hand and we can essentially just win from here because I don't think your opponent's going to be able to play through Droll and Chuchi once again after we took away everything from them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, this deck definitely should not be slept on. It's a very, very powerful deck. You can see that we pretty much got all of that from just a Kowloon GG, which is actually insane. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, check out my affiliate link in the description below if you want the sick uh, custom sleeves like I have right here. These are very, very well designed, very, very high quality, and like... Yeah, with 10%, you get 10% off and you get your own uh, sick custom sleeves while supporting the channel. So like, if you guys are interested in sleeves, then be sure to use my affiliate link down below. I would really appreciate it. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And with that, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.